Of course, we're going to continue to cover the Bitcoin spot ETF because the Bitcoin spot ETF just became the second largest ETF commodity in the United States of America, and they just surpassed silver. If you're interested in buying the Bitcoin spot ETF, drop me a comment. And if you think that the Bitcoin spot ETF is meh, but you're going to grift ethically along with me, go ahead and smash a like. Anyways, the gold spot ETF is currently worth approximately $96 billion. Bitcoin is clocking in at $27.5 billion. And of course, silver is at $11.5 billion. And we also know that the Bitcoin ETF beat the gold ETF in volume on week one, which actually took gold to hit that mark in two years, basically meaning there's a whole lot more interest in Bitcoin than there was for gold when their ETF launched way back when. Also, yesterday, BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF, IBIT, hit the $1 billion AUM mark, assets under management. What does this mean? This basically means that there is a whole lot of demand for these Bitcoin spot ETFs by traditional investors, by accredited investors, by hedge funds, by people with money. Also, we're starting to see a lot of these TradFi firms ramp up their marketing strategy. We've seen a lot of actually really terrible Bitcoin ETF commercials, but Frank Templeton on Twitter has actually been shilling Solana, Ethereum, and meme coins out of all things. So what does all of this information mean? Basically, all this means is that demand for the Bitcoin spot ETF will continue to grow based on previous trends that we've seen in the past. But the difference between Bitcoin and gold is that Bitcoin is actually a very, very scarce thing. OK, when we're talking about gold. We don't really know how much gold the world has. But when we're talking about Bitcoin. We know that there will only ever be 21 million Bitcoin ever created. And with human error, it's about 19 million now. And basic economics indicates that the scarce supply of something could indicate a higher value for it because it's harder to obtain. However, we still have people like Jamie Dimon bashing Bitcoin publicly, and we're going to see a lot of other companies continue to do so. Either way, I'm here to grift as ethically as possible alongside these trad fi grifters. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and yay, Bitcoin. Bye bye.